What's up, YouTube? Carn221 here, and welcome back to the So Good campaign for Rome 2. Basically, once again, the auto resolve pretty much killed my uh, my general, and we are being attacked by a ton of these guys. So I think we gotta fight this now, because I don't want them to take Crimea. Well, Crimea's on the other side, but we don't want them to take this area, because, I mean, this is our, our northern breachhead pretty much. So I'm going to try to use my Median Cav to uh, attack some of their slingers when they get off the boats. And then my pikemen will hold up the, uh, the city streets. That is the plan, indeed. Yeah, I mean, this will be a... Uh, this will be a good battle. If I lose this, I'm going to be in trouble, because I've lost two armies recently. I've had a string of defeats. Sometimes the game just does that to you. I mean... I have ships. Cool. Okay, so the city square is here. We'll see where these guys are, but... Oh, actually, a full unit. These are my uh, missile infantry. I'll pull them out of that group. Thankfully, these guys are dismounted. Can we just ram these guys? Yeah, I just want to ram this ship. I mean, they're pretty much going to die, but... Oh, all of them are coming by land. Even better. You OP transport ships. Oh, what was that? Your boat is sinking, I think. <laughs> we sunk their ship. Yeah. Oh, that was amusing. <laughs> my my badly beat up ships just sunk one of their ships. Oh, one of their guys did manage to jump onto this ship. But they're dead, so. Is there any other? These ships definitely can be the javelin men and stuff, but. I wish there was like a. Oh, there is hard row. Cool. Row hard. Definitely can sink that ship. Is it for 10 seconds or so? Go, my brave navy! Well, the more of these SOBs we kill now, the better. They did just completely kill us, though. Ooh, 
Well, we sunk two of their ships with our very depleted ships, which is pretty good, I think. I'm nervous about how many slingers they have, though. I'm worried they're just gonna like land and just come in as a wave. You know, if they if they break up like they're doing now, I could easily just kill these units here and then, you know, deal with some of those guys with my infantry and stuff, but yeah, we'll see. Particularly these cavalry will be key. And bring them up. We do not want these guys to land and get set up. Well, at least these, this small group here. You're good, guys. Just run. Besides, these guys are pulling so far away towards the edge of the border. I mean, I, it doesn't really matter. These guys are going to park in town. Well, they can shoot at you while they're on the ship, so. Good and Abin, boys. Take them out. Get off the boats. Oh, they're not all off the boat, so we are killing them. Go after these javelin men. They have the guts to land in our town. I don't think so. Pull back, General. I don't want to lose you. Yeah, easy way to pick these guys off. Well, that was a massacre. A little of these javelin men are confident. You have the cavalry behind you guys. I need more skirmishers in my armies. Cavalry and skirmishers. You know, at least we have some kind of skirmishers now. If these were like, if these were not like dead units, like that would be kind of nice. These guys, I don't know what these guys are doing, but they're landing way over there, and these guys are still kind of stuck out. I'm gonna put my cavalry over here, so I uh, I will be able to counter these guys. When basically my infantry will charge up, you know, take a lot of their javelin fire, but we'll we'll push into them. We'll make them retreat, and then the cavalry will be behind. These are all skirmishers, 100%. Good, the cavalry is now hidden. So 
let's see, that's like what? Seven? Yeah, seven javelin units. And a slinger. Well, six javelin and a slinger. Darn, they saw my cab. Let's send those guys in first. And then we'll send our heavy pikemen in. These guys are just gonna run. At least we'll be taking some shots of the depleted units, though. Fire! Funny, even on triple speed, it doesn't feel like it's going triple speed. Yeah, they don't know what to do. Come the cavalry. Wow, they're all nice and engaged. Okay, these guys want to go right into us. That's fine. <laughs> Silly javelin men. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to massacre their fleet. I mean, this is pretty much their disembarked fleet here. Surprisingly, the, the javelin men are confident. But as soon as the cavalry come in behind them, they will retreat, pretty much. They will break. I love his Median cab. Yeah, and we got another wave of these guys but these are all spears so they actually did a decent amount of damage to me this is where not in phalanx probably wavering and down to like 15 men those guys fought like hell Can you guys not? I was going to say, where's your failings, guys? Let's get these guys here. They even gave me some peltas. Okay, we're ready for those guys. Multiple hostiles heading over that way. Well, it's not an airtight defense, but it does look like they're going right over here. There we go, I want all my men. Oh, Midian Cab. You have not been forgotten. So let's take a quick look. By the way, I do see the guys on my radar, but they're really, really far away.
I was gonna say, guys, you, you probably don't want to go that way. This is where we have all our troops. <laughs> Who's gonna get hit? Who wants to be inspired? I love how they can't make up their mind. Ah, there we go. Now they're coming under missile fire, good. Can you guys, like, not see the enemy right in front of you? Now you see... Now we sealed off your escape. Okay. These guys have been running around. They must be tired by now. Yeah, those guys are probably going to die. Okay. Are you on, like, skirmish mode? These hoplites are more confident. These guys keep pulling out and going back in though, like they can't commit to the assault here. These guys killing anything? Actually, they're taking a lot of kills. Nice. The thing is, their escape is blocked off. We didn't take too many casualties. Good. So now we just have the hostile units that are taking our center. Whoa. Okay, that scared me there. <laughs> wow, that was a heroic victory there. Massacre those forces. Yeah, give us a couple turns to retrain. We'll show you how battle hardened we are. <laughs> oh boy, that was uh that wasn't super intense, but it was still kinda hard. When I saw those that those militia hoplites were not breaking when they were coming in the face of our pikemen, it was a little uh, disappointing. But anyway, their fleets are uh, are in trouble, and we did kill quite a lot of their ships. We did ram a couple of their ships, which was kind of fun. That little uh, skull there is when I lost my mini fleet I was given pretty much to help defend the city. Where did my army go? Okay, good. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't want that to just disappear on me. I was thinking about offering these guys a peace treat now. Just kind of keep the northern frontier secure for now. thought that wouldn't be a bad idea. Dura, where the hell is Dura? Oh, you idiot, you got yourself wounded. Okay, so let's look at this province. Okay, we're at minus three, so we got plenty of time. Commander, that is impossible. Advance. 
And we are definitely going to take this. I'm going to do a protective stand, decisive victory. Okay, let's see if it kills my elephant. Yes, it does. Good news is we'll be able to replenish. Go to replenish for a turn. I don't see any enemy armies that are close. Okay, so those guys will replenish. Oh yeah, we do need some cavalry. What? Shield bearers? Silver shield swordsman? Oh my goodness. Well, obviously I want to change these over, but... Wow, I'm not gonna... I'll keep that there temporarily as I recruit some more units. Okay, that's awesome. And we're recruiting an army over here, so... This should be pretty good. Let's negotiate that peace treaty before I end the part. You have my attention. Speak. I must serve my people and accept... <laughs> Just a minor peace treaty. We will gladly listen to your offers, but do not trap them in lies. Listen. Yeah, yeah, you're expansionist and you're unreliable. We will and Subris. I'm okay to get more trade. Wait, why am I? I was gonna say, I'm not at Worth Roads. Okay, that should increase the money. So guess what? The army that can't make up its mind is back over here again. And anyway, we're still making an army. Let's end one more turn and then one the part. Oh, right. Yes, we are going to give you some citizen cab. There we go. Give him some better cavalry. That'll work. So give them some better cav, and uh, they'll be able to, you know, some of those citizen cav are pretty decent. So this this campaign's like interesting because it's. I'm going to get rid of you. Now they want to negotiate when I'm starting to win the war and push them back. I'm pretty sure in the Guerra or whatever the heck they're called, they're going to be biting the dust because they're pretty much surrounded by my empire. And I'm okay to take the land that was part of Medea. This just kind of came out of nowhere, though, with their army. Okay. Well... Enemy was wounded here. Why is he down there? Okay, cool. I was just glitched. Let me go to Dura again. I think my agent recovered. Darn it. Okay, at least the target will probably be wounded. Just get him out of there. And they're damaging my crops. Okay, those guys are now taking attrition because I pretty much conquered them. I like to raise a new force. Can I do that? No, I cannot. Yes, I can. I should probably be looking at this stuff. Let's see. Gravitas per turn. Experience. P 
Punic culture. Yeah, no. We don't want you. There is a ton of cool units here. For instance, shield bears and citizen cav and silver shield swordsman. Gosh, these guys are expensive to recruit. Well, we'll keep that there. I do like the cavalry kind of bonuses, which is good. We're at peace with these guys, so that'll give us a couple turns to replenish our forces. Anyway, corn two two one seven.